are nearing fall in Nebraska and it's time to harvest the birdhouse gourds. And this is how you do it. Get a long enough stem because the stem has a purpose. That's a birdhouse gourd. This has been an exceptional uh, year for growing a birdhouse gourd. It's much better than we usually have. That's the reason why I decided to take this uh, demonstration movie. In the days uh, following now, uh, before they actually uh, harden and mature, I'll need to wash uh, with uh, a mild soapy water. That helps preserve them and to uh, make sure that they have a uniform color as they dry. The part where after we've washed the, the gourd with the warm soapy water, we're going to prepare it to dry for the winter. This is going to be a next year project. I like to use a little nail through the stem so that the reason for that is when I put the string, this fancy little loop I made, around the stem, it won't slide off. And then we have the birdhouse gourd. Now here are the birdhouse gourds in the potting shed in the middle of the winter in February. And they're drying nicely. You can see some are a little bit drier than others. There's a scale forming on the outside. And after they, after they totally dry, uh, you can uh, brush off the scale and then you'll be ready to uh, lightly sand and put a coat of finish on it. And you can tell when they're done, you see they sound hollow. Hi, well it's springtime, the second year of uh, the Birdhouse Cord project. Now what I'm holding is the probably kind of ugly looking to you Birdhouse Cord. Uh, it's natural to see the discoloration that was a that was a mold wanting to grow under the, the outer shell, the skin, and uh, they're a little bit wet. Uh, probably should be working with them on a dry day. But anyhow, uh, there's been a, a scars over the top of it. I've rubbed off. I've bleached. I've taken a, a cloth or a paper towel with bleach water and rubbed it to kill any excess mold. The rest of it will actually uh, covered in the face coat of a, of a clear. Uh, I like a water-based uh, varnish for polyurethane because uh, no outgassing. The birds don't like a lot of gas. If you do it with an exterior varnish, it's probably going to stink for a year, so you're not going to be able to get any birds from there. Okay, so here we are. <coughs> uh, what I look at is the water flow is going to come over here. You want to go in the hole, okay? You're going to find a part just over the crown, just down in here somewhere. You want to drill a one inch hole. Now, mama uh, wren is not much different than a mama sparrow, just a little bit smaller. So, if you go with too big of a hole, you're going to end up with uh, mama sparrows in it instead of mama uh, wren. The other reason is the sparrow needs something to land on so they can enter the house or perch or a little stick coming out. Uh, the, the ram doesn't need that, so you're just going to drill a hole and not put a perch in it. Alright, <coughs> not everyone has a Dewalt blower and a, and a bit, so I, I've got it, so I'm going to use it. Uh, I don't, for a birdhouse board, I don't recommend going out and buying a lot of equipment. Uh, a cheap exacto knife, you can mark and make shovel cuts in, in the gourd, and uh, making the, the rat hole, or make it as you can. Alright, and they made up perfect because you're going to find a hard spot. It's, uh, they've been out in the valley, so they're a little bit soft. I'm going to go very slow and see if I go this hole without turning up. Voila. A bit out of here. And we have a one inch vertical. Okay. This guy is full of seeds. Nothing in there is going to bite you, so you don't have to worry about getting your fingers in there. I take a coat hanger is good. I have to have a piece of little wire with a little hook on the inside of it. I reach in there and pull out the seeds. Okay. I'm not going to cooperate uh, good enough here. But when you do, you're going to have a bunch of high fast, the birdhouse, the, the gourd plant. Plant things you have to show. Right. So from there, you need a way to hang it. I've already ended. You drill a little hole at the top of the gourd through both sides. You're going to wire it through a band of some kind so it will hang over a huge. Voila. Random babies. Enjoy.